friends, it's Nikki Siren here. So for today's video, I'm going to review Suntan Lotion and Bug Repellent Bar. So um, these are by Robin's Creations. Um, I had previously bought by Robin's Creations um, toothpaste. I use her toothpaste every day. I have a review video of that. So if you hadn't seen it yet, please head over and check that video out. Um, but this video, I will talk about um, both of these bars that I ordered. Um, I'm going camping, so I need sunblock and uh, mosquito repellent badly. So uh, I wanted to try out Robin's stuff because Robin is super awesome. She makes really high quality um, bars, soaps, um, lots of toiletry, stuff like that. Um, and I particularly love her toothpaste. So I just wanted to see how her stuff worked for um, summertime. Uh, and I know a lot of people have been asking about both of those things and summertime's coming up. Um, so this, um, this is the mosquito bug repellent um, and lotion bar. So it is olive oil based. So when you rub it, um, it starts to kind of come off um, and you kind of wash, like kind of like soap style, like kind of like rub it on you. Um, and it has, um, it smells really good, but it smells very strongly of, um, a bunch of essential oils that mosquitoes do not like, so, um, it should repel them away. Um, I know for a lot of natural, um, uh, mosquito bug repellents, you want to kind of apply those, um, I would say at least, like, every hour. You want to reapply um, just because between sweat and stuff um, or rain or wherever you are um, sometimes that stuff can um, kind of come off um, and because it, it's very natural and the oil the oils though the olive oil and stuff like that should keep it on there pretty well um, but I would say just as my personal recommendation for myself, um, I would stick to like every hour. Uh, and it's a pretty decent sized bar as you can see, it's huge. So um, that should last a pretty, a pretty decent amount of time. Um, and then the other bar I have bought is the Sunblock Lotion Bar. Now when you're buying natural suntan lotion or sun bar or anything like that, you really want to make sure that um, there is one ingredient for sure in your lotion, and that is the non-nano zinc. Now, non-nano zinc is a mineral or powder um, that should be in every sunblock or lotion or anything. It's basically what the SPF amount is. So her bar specifically is 30 SPF, um, and that when you say 30 SPF, that's the amount of the non-nano zinc is in there. So that's the strength of the protection that you're getting from the UV, lit, UV rays. Um, I particularly don't need uh, more than 30. Um, it's usually pretty good protection for me. Um, but you, if you need something higher than 30, like a 50, um, then I'd recommend trying to find uh, a natural... Um, a natural sunblock or lotion that has that heavy non-nano zinc amount, so 50 SPF. Um, you can go to 100, but there's not really, scientifically, there's not really a difference between the 50 to 100 ratio. Um, you, you're really just kind of paying for that number on the bottle. Um, 50s should be perfectly fine as long as you're applying it correctly keeping up every you know at least every half hour to an hour depending on what your activities are um if you're swimming just make sure it's, it's on there it's you know if it comes off just reapply and uh because i know a lot of people don't use sunblock correctly unfortunately and um it's really about how much you're applying it where you're applying it uh, and just upkeeping that uh maintenance um so this is oil, also olive oil based just like the bug repellent bar so, um, you rub it, it starts to come off, um, and it's, uh, very, um, oily, um, so it, it, it has a nice kind of glide across your skin, it's easy to, easy to apply, um, and it smells wonderful, um, also has a really awesome essential oils in it, I love 
both sandalwood and myrrh, which is in this. So I think that's why I like it so much. But it also has um, castor oil and um, and shea butter and organic uh, cocoa butter. So it has um, a lot of really nice oils in it. It's made really well. Um, I'm super excited to try this. Um, both of these things. So again, this is the sun block lotion bar and the um, the mosquito repellent bar um, I will leave both of these links in the downstairs description um, so please head over there and check out um, by Robin's creations site she is an Etsy site uh, she's really awesome and as of this month she started doing um, plastic free packaging so I'm super excited about that <laughs> Um, it's really awesome and if you happen to see that the bug repellent is in a plastic container on her site you can always ask her in the description to place it in a metal container she will do that um, which is amazing um, it really helps me out but yeah it's with the um, plastic free stuff uh, basically most of her stuff you can uh, transfer into a metal container so that's super awesome and I love it and I love like that people are making changes like that. It's really, it just makes me feel like everything's kind of worth it, and uh, like that each little step is is working closer to our goal. Um, and hopefully, this next video that I release um, will be a more more sunblock related um, and bug repellent related items for people who are looking for. Um, maybe a higher SPF or, or a different type of product um, as well. And um, and I also have a 4Ocean bracelet in the mail, so that's coming in and I'd like to do a review on that for this month um, for that cause. So um, thank you so much guys for checking in and um, like I said, I'll leave everything in the description for you, all the links to everything for uh, Robin. And um, feel free to always message her and ask her questions. She will definitely answer she's super sweet and um you can tell she like really takes pride in all the things that she does so uh, just definitely give her a shout out um but yeah thanks for stopping by and um please have a good day on your journey and um check back in for my other videos uh and like subscribe and share please thanks um bye